Welcome to our tutorial on the Reflect Line command. Let's start by activating the Reflect Line command, and we'll explore its definition window. I've got a surfaces here. I created them by using this curve and a fill passing through this point on top. We can choose from two types of line, cylindrical and conical. Let's choose cylindrical. Under support, let's select fill.1. Under direction, let's choose line.3. Now, we can drag this handle. OK, let's enter a value of 10 degrees. Hit tap. Now we're able to drag the angle value. And the reflect line is generated right on top of the surface. Bring it too high and we have the same error message. Let's go back. The other reflect line type is conical. Instead of direction right here, we have origin. Let's select this point, grab the handles, and drag. We get the same error message when we go too far. Let's enter a value of 10 degrees. Hit the tab key. Now I can grab and move the handle. When I'm happy with the results, click OK. Let's opt to keep all sub-elements. As you see, we have a second element right here. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the Reflect Line command.